I'm here with former Giants receiver Amani Toomer. And Amani, when you left the Giants, you guys were on top coming off a Super Bowl championship. Really a great era. Does it hurt you to see what's happened to them mostly this last year, but certainly this last couple of weeks? I mean, it really does. And the reason why it hurts isn't because of their record. It's because of the whole cloud around the organization. The thing is that the fact that this was a lot of people's Super Bowl picks. Uh, and all of a sudden now, they're 2-10. and 10. And it's just disappointing to see that with a team that you know is talented enough to compete week in and week out. And also, it just makes it, you know, now you don't, you know, I do the Giants post game show on MSG, and, you know, we don't have really much to talk about. I mean, it's, 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 it's exciting when we're in it. It's exciting when, you know, it goes to a playoff run. It's just, it's just a downer for everybody, and I hope that the Giants can bounce back as quickly as possible. You also made a lot of great memories with Eli Manning. How difficult was it for you to see him get benched last week and all the things he went through? Yeah, that was, that was tough to see because, you know, to an outside person, it, look, it, would, it looked like Eli was the fault, and Eli was the reason why they weren't winning, and there was so many things going wrong with that team that to single out Eli I thought was a little bit unfair. And um, it just, you couldn't tell me that putting in Geno Smith was going to give this Giants team a better opportunity to win. It just didn't make sense to me. So that's why I just felt like uh, it, it wasn't right. I think the Giants remedied it um, in terms of getting rid of, uh, you know, the, the head coach and, I, you know, and getting Jerry Reese. I mean, I think a lot of fans are happy. I never really like the fact that people lose their jobs, even though, you know, there are, there are, there are accountable for their actions. But, um, you know, I, I feel like Jerry Reese did great things for our organization, um, two Super Bowls. Um, you know, he, he's, uh, he's a guy that's going to go down in Giant history with half the Super Bowls that the Giants ever had. Were you surprised at the reaction after Eli was benched, especially from former players? Because former players usually talk in reverent terms about the Giants. I don't know that I've ever seen a group turn on an organization so quickly and, and so angrily. Well, because we, we can see Eli's effort out there. We know what it's like for a quarterback to give up. We know what it's like for a team to give up. And to see guys on this team giving up and then to see him playing the same way putting in the same amount of effort it just is like you're 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 spanking the wrong kid for doing the wrong thing it just didn't seem like uh, fair and we all know that football isn't fair we all we understand that and we understand if they would have just said hey look we're moving on a different direction we're two and nine we need to figure out a different way you know go in a different direction see what we have we're out of the playoffs we'd understand that but if you tell us that oh well this guy gives us a better chance. And then that's the only change you make on the whole team. That's when you're like, look, this is not right. Even though the season's bad, and Eli, you know, I'm sure he's say he thinks he could have played, you know, at a higher level, like everybody on that team has, uh, could probably think. It just wasn't right. And we're not and we know coming playing pro football that there's a lot of things that aren't right. But this was egregiously wrong. Do you think that Eli has another year or two left in him? Uh, I think so. I think if you build a team around him and, and give and let him play towards his strengths, uh, I mean, you saw this week, they were bootlegging, they were doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, I mean, Eli can do it, but that's not his fastball. That's not his strength. His strength is he can beat you with his mind, he can beat you with his arm. And um, I think that, I, I think Geno Smith played fine this weekend. And I think that, um, you know, he kind of resurrected his career in a sense. Uh, being a competent quarterback because we all know in this NFL there's not that many competent quarterbacks. Look at the backup for the, uh, uh, Peterman for the Buffalo Bills, throwing five interceptions in the first half. Gino didn't throw any interceptions, two fumbles, but I don't know how quarterbacks can get blamed for getting ready to throw a ball and getting hit by a 300-pounder, and then they say that's his fault. I, I, don't, I don't get that.